With housing prices constantly going up, living paycheck to paycheck is not unusual for some Bozeman workers. MTN's Medeiros Babb finds out how one city commissioner is hoping to change that. $10 is a little hard to live on, especially while paying for college. There are multiple city employees that make less than $15 an hour. Rose Nittler is one of them. She says if she didn't live with multiple roommates, there is no way she would be able to pay for housing. Commissioner Terry Cunningham wants to change that. He says as the city expands, the wage increase does not match the cost of living. And so that's the gap that we really need to keep an eye on. What does it really cost to live and to pay rent uh, here in Bozeman? And, and how does your compensation fit into that package? His answer? To gradually increase city employees' wages over the next three years until it reaches $15 an hour. As an employee, I would absolutely love getting paid $15 an hour. Unfortunately, um, there is a certain budget that the city has and, well, any business has. So I think it's a great idea. It might be a little hard to implement at first. Commissioners and Mayor Cindy Andrus have expressed interest in talking about raising the minimum wage, but first they want to know more. I think it's important for the public to understand that we do pay a fair market rate and that there will be um, more information that is needed for us to be able to make a really good informed decision. Andrus says the city is currently working on gathering employee wage data for commissioners to look at in order to schedule a time to talk about it in an upcoming meeting. In Bozeman, Medeiros Bab, MTN News. In 2015, Missoula set its city employees' minimum wage to $15. Well, 